Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me Cameron. Now, first off, I wanted to say I hope you liked my new intro. I thought it was pretty cool uh, when I made it. And uh, now on to the video. So, um, I'm going to be leaving for my big trip to Florida tomorrow. And um, I won't be posting for about two weeks because I'll be there. So I thought I'd just post one last video before I go and start the whole vlogging thing there for uh, the trip. And I thought I'd uh, make a what's in my baseball bag for uh, fall ball 2014 because um, it's starting up, I think, like a week after I get back from my trip. And that's also when I get this thing off my uh, uh, hand. So... Or, well, I get this off right after I'm done with my trip, so I'm going to want to have everything ready so I can practice and stuff because I wouldn't have played in a while. So, um, just a quick little video on what I'm going to have in my baseball bag for 2014. So, here we go. So, first, let's start off with my bag. Um, I have this Easton bag. It's uh, not, I don't know the name, I just got it from Baseball Express and. I thought it looked cool, and I liked that it had more than one pocket, which my Nike bag didn't. So, um, it's nice, it holds two bats, and it has three compartments to put whatever you want in it. <laughs> so, um, now let's go to bats. Uh, my bat that I use is this Easton S2. Um, at one point I stopped using it, I don't know why. It was the bat that I hit best with. And um, I'm going to use it for fall ball and probably spring ball in case I grow, hopefully. But um, that's what I'm going to use for fall ball there. And then a thing that I'm trying new, I'm going to keep this 5 tools training tee in, um, in my bag just in case before practices and games I can take some extra cuts just to work on my swing, do some tee work. Tee work is the best. It's got tape up here to you know keep this from being too flimsy. And all you have to do is just slide it down like this, and then you just hit it, and it falls off into a net, and there you go. So that's what I have in my bat pockets. So now we go into this top pocket, and uh, here is where I keep all my accessories and whatnot. So here's my sunglasses, and for $25 you can't go wrong because these are very durable. I don't need to put them in a case at all. They look cool, and uh, they work great. I don't really need a $100 pair of Oakleys because that's insane for a pair of sunglasses. Um, I also keep my two Evo shields in here. They're both molded to my hand. I'm going to use the white one for fall ball and save this one for JV uh, spring baseball. And then I have my batting gloves. I'm just going to use these. I don't need two pairs of batting gloves. And. Um, uh, these gloves, these batting gloves are very nice, the grip is nice, and they're comfortable, and they look great too. So, those are my batting gloves that I'll be using. And now we go into the main pouch here. Uh, that's where I keep my gloves and stuff. So in here, I have my, my Wilson A2000 1788. I have this Rawlings breaking ball in it, because it's light and it keeps its shape for the glove. It doesn't get it smushed and stuff, and it's light so it doesn't make the pocket deeper and stuff because I want it to have a shallow pocket. And it's, um, I've like, I've gotten out so it's pretty wide and I got a flare on the thumb for the shallow pocket. I also keep in there my catcher's glove. My catcher's glove I don't really use much, but I bring it anyway in case a friend needs to use it or in case, you know, I need to get behind the plate and catch a little bit. I also keep my weighted training ball in there to give it a deeper pocket because I want this to have the deepest pocket it can. I have my cup, but no one really wants to see that, so I won't talk about it. Um, I got some tape for my wrist and for uh, my bat in case I ever need to use it or to retape my tee. And then I have a whole load of baseballs in here for my tee and for playing catch. And then in the, the bottom pouch, there's just the cleat pouch is where I keep my cleats for the Nike Hirachi Low. They're molded because we couldn't use metal in the modified season, but for spring ball, 
I will be getting metal cleats and probably a Nike Hirachi because these go these cleats not gloves these cleats are really nice and I like them a lot even the molded so um that's it for what's in my baseball bag for 2014 fall ball and um uh thank you for watching um just another reminder I won't be posting for about two weeks I'll have a vlog out and probably a um a review on my Easton S2 once I get back from the trip so um there we go I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later bye